I think Jacob Zuma has fixed the whole uh, Mangaung voting thing. <laughs> he's, he, he's got KZN, uh, which used to be one of the smallest ANC provinces, suddenly is the biggest ANC province. Uh, according to the Mail and Guardian, there's a lot of fixing going on there. Uh, but anyway, in the year now, nearly 30% of, of KZN is the voting pool for, 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 for Mangaung and then one or two others. And the Eastern Cape has, is almost half of the, which used to be the largest ANC province, has suddenly become one of the smallest ANC, at least half of KZN. So I think the voting system uh, has taken care, care of who is going to win in Mangaung. Well, certainly, uh, shooting demonstrators is, to, in my book, it's totally out of the question. I've been in many demonstrations throughout the world, including in South Africa, in the United States, in England. Uh, shooting demonstrators is a no-no. What should it, uh, should, it, should it have done? Well, first, the issue, the, the government has been doing nothing about the welfare of the miners. And, and the welfare of the poor in this country. What, what the ANC government has been doing is it has been pumping up the growth of the so-called black middle class and of the black political class and enriching the political class. Um, the, the other day I was quite taken aback when I saw a, a gentleman who I will not name, who I worked with in Kosatu in the early 90s, uh, he was bidding to buy a wild buffalo for 19.5 million million rands. Now, I earned more money than he did when we worked in Kosat. So, the, there is a class that has grown enormously rich during uh, the last 20, 20 years. And that has been the ANC agenda. And now, the ones who have been left behind when they are raising their voices, the ANC is out shooting them. So they have to listen to, uh, to, to the people who have been left out. You sound intensely frustrated with the ANC at the moment. Well, I think most people in South Africa <laughs> are, are intensely frustrated <laughs> with the ANC. I'm, I, I'm not, because we can see that the ANC is driving our country to the brink when we all put in a lot of effort to avoid that brink. I, mean, I was in the ANC research department, I was in the Commonwealth Sanctions uh, Committee, and the whole objective of all those things was to avoid civil war in South Africa. What are we seeing now? We're seeing a government that is totally callous about the welfare of the poor, and it now thinks that you can shoot the poor. You know, I was talking to the CEO of the Chamber of Mines last week about his problems. And I explained to him, and I'm sure he knew it in a way, that the ANC thinks it has more firepower than the miners. So it can bring out the police and terrorize the miners. So I explained to this guy, who should know but didn't seem to know, the miners have far more firepower than anyone else in this country. Why? They control dynamite. Sure. <laughs> so sure. if, if, you, if you keep that in mind, <laughs> then you understand that, you know, we can have an almighty fight in this country. The, the government is not the only one who's armed. There's a lot of, the miners alone are heavily armed because the mines can operate without the dynamite, and the miners are the people who control, who know how to use the dynamite. Eyewitness News, in touch, in tune, and independent. For the latest, log on to ewn.co.za or ewn.mobi.